In a previous video, we talked about the bits and pieces that make up URLs and what they each do. There is one piece, though, that deserves its own video, the top-level domain. You know top-level domains as the .coms, .orgs, and other combinations of letters that come at the end of a URL. There are dozens of different top-level domain names out there, and each of them have different meanings. There are domains for specific countries and domains for the military or government. We'll explain the major ones here, but there are exceptions, so use these descriptions as a general guide for evaluating URLs, not as an unconditional rule. .com, of course, is the most widely used top-level domain in the United States, and is primarily associated with commercial entities like companies and commerce that are often looking to make a profit. Remember, there are times when nonprofits or government websites may use .com, but the vast majority are associated with business entities. .edu, unsurprisingly, is reserved for educational institutions in the U.S. The .edu top-level domain became regulated in 2001, which means that in order to register a domain with .edu today, you have to be a two- or four-year college or university. .gov is used for government entities, departments and agencies that are run by the U.S. government. State government websites are classified by their own top-level domain, still ending in .gov but usually with the state abbreviation before it, such as .wa.gov for Washington state government websites. .org is a little tricky. In most cases, .org is used for nonprofit organizations, such as charities, foundations, and museums. It was originally intended to be used only by nonprofits, but this domain is unregulated, which means that anyone, including businesses that may have bias or are looking for money, can register under it. Be extra careful when citing websites with a .org top-level domain. Read up on the organization first and do some further digging to ensure that it is appropriate for your research. Sometimes you'll see URLs with weird top-level domains like Join Me or Easily, where the URLs end up forming English words or phrases. These types of domains are actually the top-level domain for other countries. For example, .me is actually the domain name for Montenegro, a country in southeastern Europe. Anyone in the world can buy a domain name, including ones designated for a foreign country. In this case, buying a .me domain worked well for the service Join Me, as the top-level domain matches a word in the product. Taking note of the top-level domain is a first step in evaluating websites for credibility. While they can give you a general understanding of the content behind the website, not all of them are regulated. Don't assume that because a website uses .org that it's credible. You'll still need to evaluate each website in depth to make sure that it's appropriate for your assignment.